The, the power study measures the experience with in-vehicle technologies during the first 90 days of ownership. What kinds of uh, features are we talking about? Now, we are talking about really, of course, the whole infotainment system in the car, but also, of course, everything that we have built in to facilitate the, the driving for customers. I mean, the lane assist, uh, safety features. Also, very appreciated is a new camera where you sort of see the car from top. And when you're going to park it, for example, it's something that was one of the top uh, things appreciated by our, by our customers. Yeah, the, the extra set of eyes, as they say, which, of course, drivers have come to rely on. I wonder if you think overall, in aggregate, the auto industry is finally starting to get some rewards uh, for years of, of maybe where investment in tech wasn't where it should have been, uh, maybe getting influenced by some high profile players. Is that now all coming home to roost? I think so. And, and we are also spending more time now really trying to understand what customers really want and not just relying on buying a sort of bolt on ready systems. I think we we hear from our customers. I mean, really what they are interested in is a super infotainment experience and, and, and really Red, easy to use systems in the car. I think we learned also avoid over complications, all type of input methods with uh, with gestures and so on. I think that's nothing that uh, customers appreciate. So we spend more time really okay. defining what what customers need. I'd love to get your take on where you think the industry is overall uh, after this. The past five or six months, obviously, there was a period where we wondered whether anybody would, would have enough money to buy a car again. Then we realized they were going to have to find new ways to get around uh, to work mm -hmm. or school, hopefully, and, and that would involve cars. Supply chains mm -hmm. were fractured a bit. How, how do you – what's your grade right now in terms of how much the industry has, has recovered? Uh, we saw the figures here in July, and we are now 14 percent above last year. So, I mean, we have been very successful. We we started to normalize uh, early and, and also experienced or uh, tried out a lot of online ways of reaching our customers, and, and that has worked. So, so I think uh, there is an appetite now for, for cars again. But uh, I think uh, our industry have uh, needs to take some big steps towards online sales and, and uh, more direct communication with our customers. I think that will be a staying effect of, of the corona crisis for our industry. Hakan, uh, Volvo, of course, is a Swedish company, but it's owned by Geely Automotive, uh, which mm -hmm. is... Uh, Chinese. Uh, the U.S. and China, I see, are your two biggest uh, markets in terms of revenue. So I'm curious if you're concerned at all about the rising tensions between these two countries, especially as we see the back and forth over certain Chinese companies that seem to get caught in the crosshairs. Are you worried at all uh, that, especially given all the technology investment you've been making in your cars, uh, that Volvo, too, could get caught in the crosshairs? Definitely would say. I mean, if there is a increased tension between the big uh, economies in the world, China and U.S., of course, that is not uh, good for our uh, for our company. I mean, we have a Chinese owner, and I think uh, we need to uh, have uh, and create a global company with uh, also including Chinese ownership. And uh, so, I mean, everything that disturbs um, that is, is bad for us. So I think... Uh, Free trade, of course, is important, but uh, I would say the free exchange of ideas and uh, technology, uh, that is something probably even more, more important for, for the whole economy, but definitely for our company. Um, you know, it's hard to have a conversation about cars now without mentioning Tesla. They didn't qualify for this study uh, because they didn't meet the criteria. Uh, at mm -hmm. least that's what I've read. But can you talk about how they're influencing uh, other players, spe specifically in, in vehicle tech? Uh, I think uh, they have been a very healthy stimulation for all of us, I think. I mean, our, con uh, our industry is uh, rather conservative, so they have pioneered electrification, and I think uh, that uh, has given us all a, a really healthy signal that 
that is a way to move to, to create really sustainable mobility. But uh, of course, they also were fortunate to start from scratch. And I mean, if if we could start from scratch, we could probably also move faster in, in going into software development. So, but uh, I think we should, uh, they have been successful and uh, we should um, respect and, and I think they have uh, given impulses to the whole industry, which is valuable.